Wow. Let's go. At this point, Frappy. Not feeling better anymore. No. Just, just Are you joking? Kinder. She needs to be. Hey guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Reels with Panos. I'm Matt. We are reacting to episode 7 of My Hero Academia. This one is called Inflation. Mm -hmm. The fighting has started. The fighting has started, indeed. And Deku is not where he should be. So, let's see what happens next. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. So, that's the power of all four of them. I've seen the light of the light of the light of the light. Have you noticed how many times they reference the Battle of Kamino mm -hmm. already in the season? Oh, it was a big fight. Yeah. And see, the jet fighters are here, so I'm sure they're going to be involved in some capacity. Right? Otherwise, they wouldn't be in the briefing. Mm -hmm. Them using him. Well, it's first for the portals, and now... Phantom Thief is having the best time of his life, though. <clears throat> oh, nice. The Madman. They're calling him the Madman? Almost looks like a battle arena. It does, actually. I wouldn't be surprised if they built that as well. Ooh. She got fingered. <laughs> but what what is this attack? A mutation, right? Something. How is it doing it? Oh wow, look how big it's become. <gasps> it's like a creature. Mutation. What? What? Oh, look at her! She's like replacement parts. No. Oh, he wants to be warped out. But that means they need to take a break from this, you know? Yeah, exactly. He can't have more than one. <sighs> oh, he's gonna destroy it. Yes, let's go. This is catastrophic. How long is it going to take him to get back? He better start swimming. 200 kilometers away. It's so funny. I always think he looks like a villain, actually. He actually does. Right. Like oh. Oh. oh, projectiles! Oh my god. No, of course, he can regrow. Yeah. Oh, oh that guy. guy. Oh no. No. <sighs> Ooh, watch out! She wants him. That is crazy. No, this is this is crazy to me. Maybe because she keeps saying I love you. Yeah, there's no danger because she really wants him as his boyfriend. Oh my god. No. That's why danger is not reacting? That is crazy. He's still being attacked with an eye, yes. you know? Like, there should gonna... be danger. Yes. Mm. 
Did you kill his first, her first crush? I, I think so. Oh my god, she looks crazy. Oh. Talk about a stalker. She's keeping it together. Exactly, she wants to become you. She's not in. She doesn't love you as a person, you know? Oh, Rabbit, he needs to she? enter. She keeps saying the same thing to everybody, or is it just me? She's like an assassin, you know? I feel like we're having a therapy session with Togo. Mm. Uh -oh. oh. She get out of the way. There you go. Surely she could have touched her again, huh? Oh. No. <gasps> oh. Babe, come on. Wow. Let's go. At this point, Rafi. Not feeling bad for her anymore. No. Just, just Are you joking? She her. needs to be. Deku, come on, move. Let's go. Uh oh. See, he's gonna start swimming in a minute. その補強パーツは、ワンホールの100%をカバーできるものではない。はい。戦場に着く前に負傷するつもりか。いえ。あるいは、俺の異能を使おうとしたか。はい。その結果、あれは極めて得意な力。あらだめ、パワース。I よかったわ。それに人が大事にしまっているものを暴かれるなんて、いたたまれないもの。What's oh, she good? Like she loves him. No? Or oh, she loves him, yeah, yeah. It also makes sense that the two girls will take her on. Mm. Izuku shouldn't be here. Uh, Midori shouldn't be here. Wow. The fire is burning. Oh, no. He can float. Wait, what? Is he floating? <笑>あ、つまりアップ。That's what they're calling him? I can't. Crazy. I have a feeling though that Davido will turn. I think so. Something will happen. I think so. I don't know. <laughs> oh, right, what do you think? <sighs> Crazy. 
There's so much happening, obviously. Happening, like, yeah. obviously, I mean, there's so many different... Seven, eight battlefields? Yeah. Yes. We saw three in this episode? Yes. So, obviously, we started with... Yes. Um, Fingerman. Fingerman. <laughs> so, he's like a Hydra. Just to understand, it's not a quirk, obviously, because... It's a bodily mutation. Yeah. And he's... I, I kind of makes sense, because if you think about it, He's almost like a prototype, like a, like a guinea pig. They've mm-hmm. done so many experiments on his body. Yeah. And his body needed to mutate or adapt in order to be able to hold. He's like a vessel, no? And I think um, uh, All for One even said a couple of times that Shigaraki is a vessel. Yeah. Right? Uh, well, but, I mean, ultimately, it's his vessel because he wants to get into, he got, wants to go into this body. But also, he, he's holding all these different quirks, so it makes sense that the body had to be modified. Mm-hmm. And this is, I guess, a side effect of this modification? Yeah. It's almost like a next step, step in, in the, the evolution. evolution, you know? Yeah. Like, um, superhumans. Superhumans. Like a superhuman. Um, and they're obviously fully aware that they can't stop. So Eraser had, what's the guy, the Phantom Thief, he can't stop looking at him and yeah. he can only use one quirk at a time, which is incredibly strong, but also it's it's a downside. He yeah. can't use another quirk if he has to. Right now he can't use the teleportation. Because yeah, they said, like if they would stop... The... Even one finger could destroy the whole thing. Exactly, and there's like millions of fingers exactly. now, so exactly. the damage he could do... Yeah, he could totally, I mean, he'd, 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 he'd bring the whole thing down. Be gone, yeah, he'd bring the whole thing down. Um, and then we see Deku, who's obviously at that island, which is 200 kilometers away, and Toga confesses her love, <laughs> but it's not the love that we would call love. It's a different way of loving, I guess. She wants to drink his blood. She wants to become him. She yeah, wants to be exactly. one with him. <clears throat> it's this thing that she has. She wants to become the person, right? Yes. She wants to take over. Exactly. Look like him. Exactly. Have his character. Yeah. And she said, like, it's a very specific way, like, I am going to be satisfied. Like, it's a very specific way that she, and, you know, she's a little, and that's why I said, oh, it feels like we're in a therapy session. Yeah. But then that Deku still doesn't recognize it as a danger is a bit weird. Well, it's weird. And I guess, you know, that's how the writers wrote it to make her so strong. It's like that, that, that skill, that, that quirk that he has doesn't trigger Hmm. I have to say though it is a little weird and it takes him out of a fantasy right he is one for all he is this super hero yeah he's not just a hero he is the superhero and then this girl can just outmaneuver him even when at the further at the end of the battle he grabs her with um with that whip right mm-hmm. she can just cut through it and i'm like yeah how is she so strong yeah how are you so weak I was the same. it takes me out of it you know like it's un- like we're like it, it doesn't make sense froppy for the rescue <laughs> froppy for the win that double kick in her face looked amazing yes i thoroughly enjoyed it i was like <laughs> finally someone is doing something <laughs> where were you all this time Rabbity getting stabbed. I was like, babe, can you not use gravity to do things? Like, come on. Just touch her and send her to the moon. She touched her even because she grabbed her and then you saw that spinning roll. And I was like, finally, you touched her. Now please send her into space. Yeah. No, they're having another uh, talking session. But listen, it wouldn't be My Hero Academia if she would have sent her to the moon in episode seven. Yeah, right. Exactly. They need it to have an incredible too fight. Easy, too quick. Yes, we but need I to. Guess... You know, it's going to be... Now it's going to be like girl power. Yes, yes, yes. And we need Froppy that. And we need that. Exactly. against... Well, it's, I mean, it, it has been Froppy and Rabbity since the very first season. Yes. You know, so it, it makes sense. Um, and then we also see the Orca and the Orca gang briefly fighting. Mm-hmm. Of course, the Nomus, super, super strong. And then we are transported to the battlefield with uh, Dabi. Yes. And I think we will see a major battle there because it's the two brothers. Well, you could you, you already saw like loads of bodies on the on, on the, the ground, ground, you know. So it seems yeah. like with this fire, yeah, he already eliminated quite a lot of. Well, yeah, it did. You know, obviously it's fire; it burns you, but also cl- being close to it, you know, the heat. Yeah. And I also believe that being around it, you can't even breathe properly. Oh yeah. You know, but then you know, and and you said it because we briefly saw the preview. The the as strong as Dabi is. His weakness is that he eventually starts burning himself. 
Yeah. And that's what happened when he was younger, right? Mm -hmm. That's how the accident happened. He couldn't control the heat anymore yes. and eventually burned down the whole forest and disappeared. He yeah. burned parts of his body. Yeah. So this is where uh, Shoto really comes in because he can control his heat with the cold and warm. So in theory, we should see him overpower Dabi. But I actually don't want him to overpower. I want them to come together and be like, oh, I love you, brother. Let's have a good life together. Yeah, but, but you think it's not going to happen? Either it's not going to happen, or if it happens, it's just like... Okay, but then what do you do with him? Mm. Because he can't erase what, what, what he's he done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, You need to lock him away in a way. So he would go to prison. Right, you are right. So the chances that he will turn good are very small. The chances that he will be killed are very high. Yeah, we'll I think see. so. We'll see, we'll see. It's interesting that he he obviously says, oh, he sent you here instead of coming himself, mm -hmm. right? Endeavor. But I'm sure be... even that, that there's a reason for that. Oh, it makes right? sense. Could you imagine? They've planned this whole thing. No, no, so... it, it had to be. Like, Endeavor has to be with... Uh, with uh, all for one and you you know like all for one is 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 is, is the bigger threat so endeavor being the more senior and seasoned hero yeah it makes sense that he's there um and there was a brief moment where we saw deku thinking of using that meta power i think we need to read up on it to see what that was again because i don't yeah. remember that they all have an additional power and i think it kind of makes sense actually because if i remember correctly Obviously, they all had the, um, the one for all quirk yes. that is continuously given from one person to another. Mm -hmm. But every wielder has their own power yes. as well. So they, technically, they're heroes that have two, two, two quirks, right? Their own inheritance quirk mm -hmm. plus um, one for all. Yes. Deco obviously being someone that was quirkless, so he only has the... the um, the oh yeah, they, they mentioned the it, no? Yeah. That he is basically the perfect vessel. Yeah. Because he didn't he's have empty. a quirk. Yeah, he's, he, empty. he's empty. So he can use all of the the, the other previous owners' yes. quirks. It will be interesting to see how that unfolds. The fact that they are showing it to us here means that he will tap into that power. Yeah. Otherwise, they wouldn't be showing it to us now. So it will be interesting to see to what capacity he's going to use it. And he, they even said it comes with a great risk. So what could that be? Could those powers be lethal? Yeah. Because he said maybe, they mutated. You know, he... Maybe it's going to be too much for his body. Mm. Because even now, like, yes, he has become a lot stronger. Yes. But he still needs those, like... Um, support. Support, uh, the, those guards and everything, yeah. so he doesn't damage his body. Yeah, yeah, true. True. Actually, good point, because I remember now the amount of times he damaged himself, and it was always that nurse that kept saying... If you One do it time. again, exactly, exactly. So no more season eight because after season seven you can't <laughs> be doing anything anymore. If you think yes. about it, if, if you think about it, how many times has he heard it from her? No. Mm. Right. This was inflation, episode seven. Can you believe it? It's moving fast yeah, now. Moving really fast. Mm. Good. Thanks for being with us again. Please subscribe if you have not already. There is more linked down below, including Kaiju number eight. Demon Slayer, Hunter x Hunter, and what else? Maybe Yujutsu Kaisen, and some other stuff. Mm -hmm. We'll see you for the next one. Take care. Bye.